Hey guys and welcome back to a new Roblox video. Today I'm going to show you how to put cutscenes in your Roblox Piggy game. I know we're skipping a bunch of stuff in the Roblox Piggy tutorial, but just trust me, we'll go back to that after. And right now I'm going to show you the cool stuff. So, I have my part here, which I named, called Escape Trigger. This is the Piggy map, by the way, and you see inside. And then Escape Trigger is the part right here, and we have a script in it. And what you're gonna put is script.parent.touch colon connect function and in for the parameter here you're gonna put hit not not that put hit the i and the o key are very close together so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that and uh sorry guys one second let me get the script right here okay this is from my other game i'm just copying it over so um yeah that looks wait 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 okay we need that and that and okay perfect so what we're gonna do is we're going to put that and then we're gonna in the replicated storage we're going to add a remote event and we're gonna name it cutscene trigger so here we go cutscene trigger so we're gonna say game dot replicated storage dot cutscene trigger colon fire client but to do this we're gonna need a parameter there and that's the player so we're gonna say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character and then we're gonna say hit, which is our parameter right there, dot parent. And then we're going to put in these right over here, player. And that is going to fire this function, but we need something to receive that function. So you're gonna add a local script in the starter GUI, and you're going to put this script here, write it down. Um, I may put it in the description, uh, and here we go. So basically you just copy everything here you can adjust the cutscene time but under here what you're gonna put is game dot replicated storage dot um what's a cutscene trigger colon and uh, sorry dot on client event and then colon connect function and that's it you don't put anything there and now what you want to do is you need to see the parts between so if you're doing um just w what piggy's doing you can create more advanced things from this as like the the uh, credits in piggy which i did with my game which you can find in the description i'll maybe i'll show you in this video which is uh, it's super cool what i did and so what you need to do that is you have to have two parts a start and a finish part so i'm gonna have this f uh, start right here i'm gonna anchor it i'm gonna turn can collide off uh and yeah that looks good and i'm gonna call it start uh hopefully there's no other parts named start yeah we're good and then i'm gonna name this other one finish and I'm going to move it all the way there. Or right over here. Or, uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, it's very easy. I'm going to say tween, which is this function right here. And then at part one, part two, part three. So we're going to only use two parts here. And I'm going to say, you don't even do, have to do game.workspace. You can even do a deprecated function, which is workspace dot um start so it's gonna go from the start to comma works workspace dot finish and this is gonna be our cutscene right here so if you want it to be a little longer you can customize that there but just copy all this and we are going to be good put that wh wherever you want your parts names to be and that looks good and let's test it out so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this doors uh 
can collide false because I don't want to complete the whole map. I don't even think this map has all the scripts in it. So that's going to be impossible to do. Let's just get through here. Oh. Uh, yeah, our piggy works. Yeah, it does work. Uh, so, you know, uh, w let's just start this again. And let's move the piggy elsewhere. And I'm going to show you how to set a round-based system with keys and stuff like that in the next tutorial. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push play here. And then, um, I'm going to go through the door. And here we go. The cutscene starts. Oh, I found an error. Um... Yeah, so, you know it does this and all, which is great, but what you want to do, it keeps hitting the part. So, what you want to do after that is, let's just grab a position of a part right here, and this is so it doesn't keep triggering the function, and then in the local script, after, after tween colon play, you're going to put, um, player dot character dot humanoid no sorry dot hu yeah humanoid root part dot position sorry dot c frame equals c frame dot new and put that position in there and this is gonna fix our error hopefully let's test this out let's push play right here and hopefully this will fix our issue yep and it looks like it has fixed it no errors here and everything is good and hopefully it will end right after and let's see the end part is right over here somewhere and and boom so it may take a second um oh we never set it back to custom okay so this is something you need to do too so after we do that we're gonna say wait cutscene time which is right here wait and then cutscene time and then we're gonna say game dot workspace I think work yes yeah, space dot current camera dot camera type equals enum dot scriptable uh, custom actually okay guys so actually what you want to do is enum dot camera type dot custom and that's how you do that and that should work and I think that's it. See you guys in the next video. I may roll a clip right now of my game on how this works out of my game. But that's the script. I'll put it in the description. There we go. Peace. Okay, so this is my game and this is how it works out in my game. So here we go. Uh, let me close out all of that. And here we go. All we're going to need is the command bar really quick. Game dot replicated storage dot end a boss uh, fight colon fire all clients that is my event right there let's do that and close that and you have to be on the server to do that yeah and boom and here we go i remember mr p gave a potion that made a that to mrs p which he used on me how could he and here we go after this it will say something. Cyber was YT. I uh, said, please do not hurt. Uh, do not hurt him. He can explain. And then you see, I can spawn in right there, and I can show you how to do this on the next t tutorial. So here we go. I did not do this on purpose. Doggy threatened me to do this. Oh shoot! I jump high. Oh oh nope! Something glitched. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's not working properly. So if you step on her head, it's still from the boss fight, and it teleports you back there. He was there. He was always there. It's going to teleport me anyway. I said, is it safe to walk up to him? And what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to walk up to Doggy, but it will teleport me thereafter in case any bugs happen. So, um, 
here we go. I'm going to spawn back, and then it teleports me right there. Uh, why are you doing this, doggy? Well, I guess if this is a memory, then you can't talk, because I want revenge. And there he goes. He plays an animation, which I've created, and you die. And then some few other text speeches things and then the credits which i'll show you which is more of camera uh interpolation which i guess that would be the word of the day and that's actually what we're doing today so these are the credits there's some music playing but you guys can't hear right now and uh, in a second my camera will shift over there and it will do that for all of them so here we go let's shift the camera okay here we go and and then it's just giving all the credits and then at the end it says thank you for playing my game and yeah that's pretty nice so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe it really does help i'll see you guys in the next one peace